In the last video, Stick It to the Stickman, we broke the game by upgrading my kicks to ungodly levels. Today, we're gonna break the game with guns. You're not supposed to bring guns to work, but that's exactly what I'm doing. So, after getting our XP, the first thing that we need to do is unlock our upgrades. Now, we don't want any melee. That is, if we can choose a gun, we have to take it. And when we get an upgrade for said gun, oh my god, we have to take it. So now, I've got a lot of guns. Oh wow, look at how many enemies just popped up. Okay, we got dudes with what, boxes? Clipboards? Okay, and they explode. Now remember when I said we have to upgrade our guns? Yes, look at this, now we have Uzis. <laughs> that guy just killed all those guys for me. That was fantastic. Okay, this is a very, very good move for us to have. Private Supply gives all of our guns three extra ammo. Now, a thousand Sudokus is really good too, but the challenge for guns is you gotta upgrade them. I don't make the rules. Actually, I did. But in the next video, I would love for you guys to suggest in the comments right now what kind of a challenge or build we should go off of in Stick It to the Stick Man. So first, kill the guy with the box, because he's gonna explode. Oh my god, he, he did not die. And not only that, he almost blew me up. So remember, the tricks to this game are let the guys follow you. Oh my god, we already have a minigun! Perfect timing, too. You see how much damage that did? Now, let's kill these guys because we just ran into, like, what? What looks like a department store? So we have a choice between three mystery presents. And by mystery, I mean, I guess they tell you what's inside. Stronger kicks? That would have been great in the last video. Stronger punch? No, we're not Saitama. More ammo. Yes. We just received cargo pants, although I'm a little offended that we can't actually see the cargo pants. So we're gonna take extra re-rolls, we're gonna minigun this big boy, and do 55 damage. And now the minigun is the maximum level you can upgrade your guns to. So, we go down the row and upgrade pistols into submachine guns. And the submachine gun's pretty good. Man, my punches are powerful. Look at my combo meter though. So we can increase our max health for every move, or we could do increase all punch damage. Or we could run like a ninja, which looks cool, but I think the most practical one, and remember, we want practical value, is multitasker. One thing we gotta be mindful for is, are there any coffee machines? I'm scouring all the floors. <laughs> I just went down like seven levels. Oh, I just, I just leveled up by going down. Did I just? Do a spiffing Brett style break the game. Another minigun. Oh, hello, boys. Welcome to the uh, gun show. I'm your host. You're dead. That's that's my name. We're down at the beginning. No coffee. I love coffee. So we're back up to the free stuff level. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to melee punch here and unlock three weapons in a row and try to eliminate this mini boss in, well, relatively record fashion. Oh, he Jedi mind tricked me and he blocked my minigun. I lost my combo, but we did kill him once we were able to blast him with the minigun. So let's see, drinking coffee can be pretty good, but we've got to take the gun when we can get him. Look at how many enemies we have, okay. Look at those bullets. I love the magic bullet upgrade because it gives all of our ranged weapons extra ammunition, which is going to be critical considering how many enemies are between us and the boss. I feel like Scrounger could be good. Bonus packages at this stage in the game, I think still have practical value. Combo meter of 54. Why is nobody on this level? Oh, that's why. It's a trap? Oh! Someone else brought their gun to work day. That's okay. Oh! There's a safe! So all we gotta do is keep shooting it, get all this money. This is gonna be very, very useful in getting some upgrades. I think we have some upgrade that calls in reinforcements. Get off me. Take the package. We have three miniguns? I feel like this is a game of bro Tato, and I've got like six arms right now. Oh, secret stash. The next move receives one ammo. So right now, that would be my starting minigun. Wait. Oh. 
Guys, this is super weird. We are not encountering enemies right now. There's supposed to be a boss. Oh, hello. Could we have broken the game? Or is it just a little bit of a delayed trap? That guy just shot his friend in the foot, which is hilarious. In this demo level, I think the AI might be a little bit broken. But that's all right with me. If it's gonna make it easier to win, and our combo meter of 114 is pretty much maxed out. Oh, watch out for the guys with the guns. All right, let's get, I wanna unlock this. Next three moves, receive one ammo. Woo, okay. Increase all punch damage, no thank you. Reduce any damage by more than one. That is probably the best thing we can get currently. Oops, I just lost my combo. Look at this, man. I'm a I'm a one-man gun show. So if we do this, oh, it's already maxed out. Okay, well, I guess we'll get the submachine guns. All right, we need to get off that level, and we need to hit this guy. <laughs> the bag of cash, man. I'm going to jump off and grab as much money as I can. Hit the dude with the Uzi with a minigun. Show him who's boss. Look at that. There's a safe right here. This one is guarded. It's got two security officers, I think. Oh wait, isn't this the level where... I thought this was supposed to be the level where the Axe Bros come. Some very strange stuff is happening. Oh, there's the Axe Bros. Okay, so we could have left that level if we wanted to. Oh god, I am getting my butt beat up. Do we want to go with an extra stash? How does that work? I don't know, let's try it out because we have a stash boosting a stash. Oh god, I gotta hop over the... Safe! Okay, that was that was really close. Now we're gonna ignore the first damage on any floor. Fantastic. We're gonna wait for these guys to run up the other ladder, and we're just gonna blast them. <laughs> oh man, I really would like a coffee machine, but we're at like 22 health, which I would say is pretty good. We've got a big boy boss up ahead of us. We're gonna have to probably sync our moves so that I can have as many miniguns as possible. Drinking a Red Bull restores two health and the next four hits are double damage. That would be two miniguns and two of our punches, which I guess is pretty good. There's also some buffs that if you're... Look at that. One minigun blast and a mini boss is mini dead. Now we're literally waiting for the enemy attack because I, we're just ahead of schedule. I feel like these guys got to give me a raise. Are you guys gonna... You guys gonna... <laughs> no? Okay. Well, I guess we'll do it this way. They're just literally hanging outside. Uh-oh. All right, drink my coffee. Blast that guy with a minigun. Punch these two guys in the nuts. Ow, someone punched me. Rude. Sir, I'm the protagonist of this here adventure. Oh, wow. That is incredibly fast. Okay, so I think we're caffeinated right now. Don't shoot me. I jumped on his head. Get out of here. Oh, there's a money bag guy. All right, I'll blast the money bag guy. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the, well, shuriken is technically a ranged weapon, but it's not a gun. Ow, body slammer boy. Look at how many enemies are on this floor. I feel like at one point there may have been close to 20. All right, yeah, th this is just insane. So free XP normally means like, hey, we're bringing in the dummies for you to kill. We'll take 100 sit-ups because that seems to be the only practical one. And when you see a gun, you gotta take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm doing insane damage. Each bullet, I think, does 12 by itself. Why are they crying? I, I don't entirely understand why they're crying. So we get here. We hope we shoot this guy. Oh my god, he dodged it. <laughs> One minigun blast is all it took. Okay, fantastic. Ow, ow, ow. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt badly because I think I was trying to force the upgrades. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're at 17 out of 24 health. What we need to do is find a way to heal ourselves before we end up fighting the boss. Although, I think with how powerful we are, it might not be as necessary as, well, maybe, maybe how much we thought. I love dealing with the Jedi dudes, the guys who can control you with their mind. 
by just shooting them from distance. Everything is easier with guns, except for world peace, I guess. Won't budge. I don't know what that means, but I want it. All right, which gun are we gonna upgrade? Adrenaline would be cool, but I mean, we've got just so many opportunities for miniguns. So let's see, how many do we have? Cause I think my personal record, oh God, oh God, we're in a danger spot. I think I messed up there, <laughs> but luckily we didn't take too much damage. All right, we should have the upgrade soon, right? Okay, the guys with the cell phones, what do they do exactly? How? Other than break my combo. But here's the question. Is this coffee cup drinkable? It's not even drinkable. The game is broken. I can't even believe it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Okay, look at the level above us. This is what we've been waiting for. So this is gonna be fascinating. Three coffee cups, and there's definitely a boss with a cell phone. And everybody here either has a cell phone or like a briefcase. And we're just destroying everybody. All right, you, you die. <laughs> okay, he didn't die exactly. Oh, oh, I took a bullet. That's four damage. I gotta dodge. Your reputation precedes you. I think we want more enemies because that will be even more XP, which could possibly equate to more guns, but definitely more upgrades. We'll take an extra reroll. Ow, 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 ow. Dang. All right, what happens when we bore these guys? They all tried to like punch me. Yes. All right, these guys, here we go, drink it up. Not a ton of health there, but it's one health per sip and coffee is delicious. I know some people really, really like tea and I get it, but I also don't because coffee's better. Gentlemen, ladies, it is time to go up. Oh God. Oh my gosh, the running jump punch made me lose. Oh. So the thing right above us is indicative of one thing. We are about to fight the boss. Although I feel like I'm the boss. I really do. I feel like you should be able to pick up things and, and use them as like weapons, sort of like Smash Bros. Hello there, no points, Mints, you're dead. Okay, remember, always drink the coffee before fighting the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna cycle through this and get the minigun ready. <laughs> Sucker! All right, he's pretty much dead. Okay, he's definitely becoming more powerful. No, he's a, he's a little over 50% health, actually. Oh, thanks for doing that. Don't shoot me! Ouch. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to land and... No! He did the Jedi thing. Oh God, oh God, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. You gotta hide behind the other people so that he shoots them and not you. Oh, okay. Well, that was the idea. Oh my, biscuits and gravy. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Hide. <laughs> there we go, minigun. He dodged it. That's cheating. Okay, there's a health box and we gotta grab it because things are about to get absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh, the amount of enemies between me and the boss are kind of getting ridiculous. Look at this. The minigun is almost like he just has too many minions in front of him. Yeah! <laughs> One final minigun blast is all it took. So, thank you for playing. You've reached the end of the demo. I'm gonna continue. Wait a minute, we don't have any more options? Well, here we go. We still have the chance to do some major upgrades. So each time we complete a floor, we get a certain amount of money. That money adds up and we can use that money to unlock upgrades that can either increase the difficulty of the level or increase our abilities as a fighter. And normally you wanna mix it up and do a little bit of both. We got one performance review. And look at this, I mean, some of these things are not in the demo. 
Sanitation. This could be good. Regain health at the cafeteria and question mark. Or we could add executive floors. I think we want to add executive floors. Because, well, it also unlocked this new character, the Delegator. So at this point, I feel like we're sitting pretty. So what I need is you guys to let me know which of these characters should we try in the next one. And if you guys do want to see more Stick of the Stick Man, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.